and I am your host. Now, you can hit us up on Twitter right now uh, before it's too late and uh, you can put your question. If you want to know more about cheaper technologies and if you want to know more about how they do business, how they're going to be able to uh, you know, be different from other stock brokers, and uh, you want to know how uh, they're going to run this thing called stock brokerage, you can hit us up and uh, get to question uh, one of the people that are coming in from the company who is representing uh, the brokerage firm. And uh, this is Miss Christine Kundinaze, and she's from uh, the Cheaper Technologies Stock Brokerage Firm. These are new entrants into the Uganda Stock Exchange business as uh, they come in uh, to trade stock. Uh, what well, cheaper technologies is a uh, very famous uh, with cheaper cash, which is uh, one of their. Uh, trading uh, financial technologies and uh, they deal in several things uh, but this time we are looking at cheaper technologies stock brokerage firm and I want to make that very very clear uh, from the onset so uh, we don't get to mix things a little bit here and there we are looking at their stock brokerage firm which was initiated uh, last Monday but one and uh, definitely uh, they are going to be very exciting and uh, we're going to have them on the show so if you want to know so uh, somewhat some somewhat some more things about you know uh, the technology cheaper technologies company you can drop in your question or your comment on our twitter handle and uh, we'll get it answered right on time now uh, by the time we went into the break we were still looking at the stock performances for the different companies on the uganda securities exchange and um, we have seen that five uh, companies participated in the tour tra trading. Uh, that is uh, looking at uh, the domestic equities. We had Standard Bank, uh, we had MTN, Meme, and so many others. Um, however, let's start with Standard Bank performance. Now, yesterday, Standard Bank closed the day with a price of uh, 20.5 Ugandan shillings after that is per share after having lost 2.4% uh, from 21 shillings of the previous day. Standard Bank, however, began the year with a price of 26.0 Ugandan shillings. And uh, since then, it has lost a value of over 21.2% in terms of year to date and is ranked the 12th in terms of year to date performance. And yet, when you look at that curve, it's very, very evident that they have lost some value over the months since the beginning of the year. Um, in January, they were trading at 26 shillings, and that dropped quite drastically uh, during the month of March, all the way through the month of May and the month of July. And uh, right now, uh, they are between 22 and 21, and 20, actually. And uh, yesterday, they ended up down in the 20s as well. Now, um, what could probably allay your fears as a shareholder uh, or as a prospective or future investor in Stanbic is the fact that Stanbic Bank is the second most traded stock on the Uganda Securities Exchange, and they are currently uh, within the last three months, they have been able uh, to trade a total volume of over five, uh, they have been able to trade a total volume of over 24.2 million shares uh, that are valued at over 509 million Ugandan shillings on the stock market with an average of over 384,000 uh, two shares that are traded per trading station and they've had a volume high of over 10.2 million shares uh, that was achieved on the 8th of August within the same period. Meaning, this, and this is exactly why I want you to be very, very vigilant when investing. The company has lost value, that's the truth, from over 26.0 to 20 point two, uh, 20 point, uh, maybe two, 20.5 shillings, yes? But when you look at the trading, they have done a wonderful job. They have done wonderfully well in terms of traded volumes with over averages of 300,000 shares per trading session. So 
one side is losing, but the other side is providing an opportunity. And remember, like all people that have hosted here on the show will tell you, or have already told you, it is always good to buy when things are bad. So, buy some stock from Stanwick today. I'm telling you, because uh, with this kind of activity and uh, with the decrease in prices that we are seeing, this is probably the lowest you might see for Stanwick. I'm telling you. Before you know it, this stock could return to 26. What does it mean? Returning to 26 means you're going to gain a capital gain of over six shillings on your uh, stock. So this is exactly why the stock market is very, very interesting. It doesn't provide misery. It, it provides opportunity. Every time you're seeing these companies losing, these companies in the red and companies going down, it is still an opportunity for some investors who want to get some new stock and for old investors as well uh, who would want to get more stock to be able to buy more. Uh, when we look at the market capitalization currently it stands at 1.05 trillion at Standard Bank stock and they have a total uh, number of out shares outstanding at over 51.2 billion shares uh, outstanding. Uh, the uh, traded volumes just yesterday were over 121,764, like I've already shared, and the gross turnover uh, has been at 2.5 million yesterday. And uh, when you look at, uh, we've said in yesterday's trading, they had the biggest uh, number of shares recorded in a single day of trading. In terms of uh, market capitalization at 1.05 trillion, uh, they are the fifth uh, most valuable stock on the stock market and constitute 4.7% of the entire uh, share equity market on the Uganda Securities Exchange. And they have been listed since the year 2007. So grab the opportunity. With 20,000, you're going to get 1,000 shares with this company. With, a hundred, with two, over 200,000, you are getting over 10,000 shares. With 2 million, you're getting even more, over 100,000 shares. Uh, get yourself some stock out here before it's too late. I'm telling you, this is the time to buy. It's not a time to sell. It's not a time to panic. It is a time uh, to be able to keep some stock for yourself. Putting Standard Bank aside, uh, the other performer we had was um, Bank of Baroda. We also had MTN and Mumeme. Let's first have a look at uh, Bank of Baroda. In particular, if you know about Bank of Baroda, she has been one of the most um, highly traded stocks within the last three months. However, we are going to see the reason for this, and you must also know why, because there are different reasons. Maybe uh, some people trade more often with higher frequency others trade on several days but with a huge volume and they still come out as some of the most traded so you must get the difference you must be able to distinguish uh, between the two performances for two uh, different companies that are performing well in terms of um, their volumes now bank of baroda uh, is one of still the oldest stock um, uh, stock uh, uh, equities on the Uganda Securities Exchange. It was listed in 2002, meaning it has over 20 years experience on uh, the Uganda Securities Exchange and trades under the ticker symbol BOBU. And uh, when you look at their current uh, market capitalization, it's over about 213 billion and uh, this represents 0.951% of the entire capital, uh, the share capital uh, on the, the equity market on the Uganda Securities Exchange. And uh, this ranks them the 12th most valuable stock. They're the 12th. And um, when you look at um, the volumes yesterday, they traded about 63,600 shares and they are valued at 5.41 million. And then when you look at their shares outstanding, they, they have over 2.5 billion shares that are outstanding and a 213 billion market capitalization. And uh, when we look at um, the price, the price didn't change at 85. That was uh, the stable price with which uh, the stock was sold yesterday. Uh, however, the company began the year with a price of over 95.5 Ugandan shillings. And uh, when you calculate the year to date, 
percentage loss, it's at 11%. They have lost 11% of their price valuation since the beginning of the year in 2022. And they are ranked 11th on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Uh, Bank of Baroda, however, is the number one most traded stock within the last three months. And it has been, at least uh, for some good time now. Now, listen to this. This is, we are looking at months from the 8th of June to the 7th of September for Bank of Baroda Uganda stock. It has traded a total of over 35.1 million shares within this period. And these shares are valued at over 2.97 billion shillings with an average of 557,739 shares per trading session. Now, they had a volume high of over 27.5 million shares that was achieved on the 13th of July within this same period. And this is why they are ranked number one. Now, you have to take note, uh, Bank of Baroda last traded yesterday on the 7th of September. But before that day, it last traded on the 6th as well. It had some trading. Uh, it also had trading on the 5th of September. It also had trading on the 1st and then on the 19th of August and 18th of August. So what I'm trying to show you here, you're seeing trading on the 5th, on the 6th, on the 1st, and then the last day after, before first, is the 19th of August. That's a couple of weeks, like two weeks apart, right? Without any activity. And then after that day, you're seeing the 19th, 18th, 17th. And you see, so there's a lot of, the, 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 the trading is kind of clustered. It's not um, a daily kind of market activity. You don't see this aggressive uh, daily activity like the way we see it probably on MTN or Stanbeek or um, yes, MTN or Stanbeek, because those are some of the counters that you see at least in every two days, they will have some good volume traded on the stock market. So being the number one most traded stock doesn't mean that they're the most active. That's exactly what I wanted to bring out uh, with the point of Bank of Baroda. So you don't get so excited that they're the most traded stock because on a single day, they had 27.5 million shares. That was a very huge volume that probably gave them advantage over other companies. But in terms of the frequency of activity, they're not doing so well, yeah? And uh, the price, the pricing is still good at 85, and the year-to-date loss is only standing at 11%. Uh, that is the Bank of Baroda stock for you there. Uh, Wumeme yesterday also did some work, and let's have a look at Wumeme as well. Uh, she traded over 53,126 shares uh, within the last uh, trading station. Remember, Wumeme also, according to reports from the Uganda Securities Exchange, uh, was ranked uh, one of the biggest companies with the biggest turnover, at least in the first quarter and in the second quarter of 2022. So meaning if there is something really about Wumeme we should be knowing. Now Wumeme, which has been listed for just 10 years since 2012, is currently uh, the 10th most valuable stock with a total capitalization of over 325 billion Ugandan shillings. And with this capitalization, they constitute 1.45% of the entire market capitalization at the Uganda Securities Exchange. Their current pricing of uh, their stock is at 200 shillings, 200.0 to be specific. And yesterday, as I've said, they mentioned, as I've mentioned already, they traded over 53,126 shares uh, with a growth turnover of 10.6 million, which was still the highest recorded yesterday. Uh, with the shares outstanding of over 1.62 billion shares, uh, they have a market capitalization of 325 billion shares uh, that are listed or that are floated on the exchange. Uh, Wameme uh, has, with the uh, beginning price of the year, was 189 shillings. And uh, when you count uh, the year-to-date performance, they are on a gaining side with a gain of over 5.82%. And currently they are ranked number three in terms of year-to-date performance. 
In terms of uh, traded volumes, they are the number three, the, the third most traded stock. Remember, we talked about Bank of Baroda was number one most traded stock, and uh, that was due to that big volume of over 27.5 million uh, shares that was traded on a single day. We're looking at the last three months. And then number two, we had Stanbit Bank, Uganda, which also had uh, m very much, uh, pretty much, the m m very much activity. You know, you're seeing every single day they have some good trading happening. Umeme comes in the third place. However, that is in the uh, most traded stock in terms of trading. Uh, in terms of turnover, it's the number one uh, stock, at least within the last one quarter. And within the last, uh, even the other first two quarters, uh, Umeme still takes on uh, the biggest turnover on the market. It has had a total of over 21.8 million shares traded within this period that are valued at over 4.74 billion Ugandan shillings, with an average of over 345,273 shares that are uh, traded per station. Uh, a volume high of over 8.13 million was, however, reached on the 23rd of August within the same period. So, still, Umeme is giving you a chance uh, there to be able to invest in it. Uh, the opening price at 200 shillings, you can be able to access that stock. Remember, settlement time is three days. That is the time it takes for you to actually settle a claim with the Uganda Securities Exchange. So if you place in your order today on the exchange, you don't expect it today. Definitely probably around Monday or Tuesday. That is when you will expect uh, the claim to be on your account. Uh, that is on your SCD account. But I would like to remind you, opening an SCD account is absolutely free of charge. You can dial star 165 hash, and then you dial, uh, you choose option number five, and then choose option number seven later. Or you can dial at once, star 165 star 57 hash, and uh, you will get there definitely uh, where they will require your details and be able to help you uh, access some of the stock there on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Putting Umeme aside, let's now move on to MTN. MTN also yesterday had some uh, good volume of 13,550 uh, traded shares that were traded on the Uganda Securities Exchange. MTN is the youngest stock, has the youngest stock on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Uh, because it has been the most recent, uh, most recently listed company uh, that was last year in uh, the month of December 2021, and currently their price is at 180 Ugandan shillings per share. MTN uh, trades under the ticker symbol MTNU, uh, that's representing MTN Uganda, and currently is the second most valuable stock with a total capitalization of 4.03 trillion Ugandan shillings, which represents about 18.1% of the entire Uganda Securities Exchange equity market. Now, when you look at yesterday's trading, there was no shift in, um, sorry, there was no shift in price. The, sh the price was maintained at 180 shillings, and uh, the total traded volume was 13,550 and uh, the total turnover from this was 2.44 million Ugandan shillings. They have 22.4 billion shares outstanding, and this brings their capitalization to over 4.03 trillion Ugandan shillings. Now, in terms of um, the losses here, they started the year with a total, volume, a total price of 194.99 Ugandan shillings and are currently at 180 Ugandan shillings they have lost about 7.69 percent of their price valuation ranking them the 10th in terms of year-to-date performance furthermore they are the, the fourth most traded stock okay now we have four of them number one we had if you remember you can guess right yes that's right Bank of Baroda Uganda number two Yes, that's right, we had Stanbit Bank Uganda. Number three, we had Umeme Limited. And now at number four, we have MTN Uganda. You can see, they are the most traded and still they're coming in as some of the people, the top movers 
for the day yesterday, uh, for the trading day or the trading session yesterday. And uh, when you look at their volumes, yes, they have had trading on the 7th, trading on the 6th, on the 5th, and on the 2nd, on the 31st. So you think that their frequency is a little bit more than that of Bank of Baroda, much as Bank of Baroda is the number one most traded stock. So all this information, it might be too much to take in, but this is what stock brokers and so many other people that are playing within the market uh, use to be able to make decisions. If you're looking for value, if you're looking for value addition, you're looking for companies that will give you liquidity, you must know this information. You must be able uh, to understand really how these companies have been performing. You must know the history of the company's performance on the stock exchange. And so that was MTN Uganda for you. So you can buy stock at MTN today at exactly 180. You can, of course, get, into, uh, get in touch with your stock broker and uh, you will be helped accordingly uh, without fail. We are going to take another quick breather, but when we return, we have Miss Christine, and uh, she's from Cheaper Technologies. Like I said, uh, Cheaper Technologies, a week uh, ago, were able to uh, get uh, to uh, be licensed, and uh, they are now part uh, of the Uganda Securities Exchange as stock brokers and also security central depository agents. So we're going to be talking to them and see what do they have on the table for us. We'll take a quick breather. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Driving business. Bono Bulu Magic Key, Bulu Magic Key is my joy. Bono Bulu Magic Key, Bulu Magic Key, Wangi. I hope Narabaku Mabara, Atipusa, no need it out, you look in your. Taisa will be fabric, so not a chili chick, while a bono magic is my choice. Bono bulu magic, bulu magic, ye wange. And the bulu magic, bulu magic is my choice. Bono bulu magic, blue magic, ye wange. Sasulida, a casimu kechiro to cho, mpola mpola. Funesimu yechiro to chode, rongo, sasura mpola mpola. Ukutani kida kunusuru kumi mubina. No funa data, uwo wirele, ukumalo mwaka. Esimu zona, kujira ku mvisa tano, budiru naku, ukumale miezi kumi nebili. Usasuliro mwaka kumu, zili maduka ga MTN, naga mkopa. MTN, 